G'day, it's Ralph here from Videoproc Converter, and today I'm going to show you the full difference between Videoproc Converter and Videoproc Vlogger. So you'll know which one to use to meet your particular needs. Now, if you love what we do here, please give this video a thumbs up, and we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. It would be most helpful. Videoproc Converter is a complete video toolbox, the comprehensive program that you can take care of all your issues and changes that you want to make to a video once it's been created plus some very cool options. Videoproc Converter converts, compresses, edits final formats, records your screen with audio, enhances your videos, and so much more. While Videoproc Vlogger, on the other hand, is a professional and easy to use video editing software for any computer user, where you can create videos from various unedited clips, producing creative masterpieces. So let's compare the two so you can see which is the best option for you. This is what you'll get when you first open up the programs. Videoproc Vlogger is set up like a traditional video editing software, while Videoproc Converter is a menu screen, which once you select the option that you're after, looks like this. When it comes to video conversion, Videoproc Vlogger can handle over 370 different input formats, which is insane and you can output to MP4, MKV, MP3, M4A, and FLAC. You'll notice that it doesn't output to MOV, but that's okay because Videoproc Converter can handle that for you. Videoproc Converter can convert a video into over 420 different output formats with the ability to change quality and size easily. You can also convert your video to GIF or GIF to video, video to audio, audio to different audio, and batch convert, saving you time and energy and converting your DVDs to digital format also. Videoproc Vlogger has the capacity to remove fisheye, deinterlace, sharpen, fix low light, remove black bars and AV sync. Videoproc Converter is able to do the same as well as stabilize or deshake a video, which is perfect if you have a video you want to minimize how much it moves within the frame. Yeah, you get the gist. Videoproc Vlogger is a very comprehensive video editing software doing everything you want a video editor to do. Especially for film-like videos, it offers multiple advanced editing tools that can make your videos look like film. For instance, it has 20 plus speed presets, 28 motion presets, 3D LUTs and color filters and the list goes on and on. That's in comparison to Videoproc Converter, which is able to split, merge, cut, trim, crop, rotate, mirror and flip, upscale, down scale your videos and as we've covered already extract your audio or mute it as well as take screenshots from your videos. Both can adjust volume or mute volume, extract audio from video, change audio channels, enable audio track selection for video with multiple audio tracks, reduce audio noise and sync audio with video. But Videoproc Vlogger then allows you to do a huge amount of editing to your audio from cut, trim, split audio, splitting audio clips, fading in and out, reverse playing audio, changing audio speed without changing pitch, selectively muting, enabling channels in multi-channel audio, adjusting overall EQ and adding filters. Now hopefully so far you're getting a feel for the differences between Videoproc Vlogger and Videoproc Converter and if you have any questions as always pop them in the comments below and we'd love to respond to you there. Videoproc Vlogger can record a voiceover or add one or more to your video whereas Videoproc Converter is able to video capture your screen or any portion of it along with audio. Whether it's a video you have on your screen or an online meeting you're in you can use the recording features while recording, adding helpful additions to what you're doing and wanting to achieve. Both are available for Windows and Mac. On Windows, both are available for Windows 7 upwards, and only difference is that Videoproc Converter supports 32-bit. On Mac, Videoproc Vlogger works on iOS 10.11 or higher, and Videoproc Converter can be used on any version after 10.6. Both support Apple Silicon chips, which is what I'm using to do this. Videoproc Vlogger is completely free and will be for its lifetime with no watermark or other restrictions. How amazing is that? Videoproc Converter is free if dealing with videos under five minutes and over that you have a few options available 
to you. Uh, a yearly license will cost you $25.95. It's on sale at the moment from $38.90. A lifetime license will cost you $39.95 and can be used up to three computers and is on sale from $78.90. Or you can get a family lifetime license at $57.95, an amazing bargain, which can be used up to five computers and it's on sale from $119.90. Whew, we made it. And I hope this has helped you know the differences between VideoProc Converter and VideoProc Vlogger. If you still have questions in mind, please leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it's been helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.